Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to properly export videos for Instagram Reels. Now, as you can see right here, here is the format um, for Instagram Reels. Basically, Instagram Reels is the Instagram's version of TikTok. So I believe the videos can be about 10 to 30 seconds long, and they're in this vertical format. Basically the same format as Instagram stories. It works a little bit different than normal Instagram videos. It's like IGTV. It's the, the uh, Instagram has its own section for IG Reels. But you can also like post a preview um, on your actual feed. So what you're going to want to do here is an example right here. Basically it's just a time lapse of me putting together a little bit of a VFX and editing reel. Which I can't wait to create a really cool reel. Um, in the future, what you're going to want to do is you want to head over here to File. You're going to go over here to File. Once you click on File, go to New, and then Project. And let's just call this IG um, Reels right here. Then what you want to do is you want to head over to Format, head over to Custom, and then as you can see, if you don't know anything about video, this is the normal format, like the 16 by 9 format. Um, for horizontal videos so these are the this is the dimensions for like a normal YouTube or Facebook video horizontal video vertical video is yep you guessed it right the flip version so it's 1080 by 1920 a vertical version for like Instagram stories and IG reels is a vertical format so it needs to be flipped you can set the frame rate I'm just gonna set it to 24 because all of my videos tend to be shot at 4K at 24 frames per second. So just keep it consistent. Um, you can rename whatever you want. Um, put the format in custom. 1080 by um, 1920. And you just want the frame rate to 24. And let's just go ahead and click on OK. Now as you can see, here is the format. The exact same format um, of this Instagram reel and the one that I put on Instagram. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just import the footage. Now this is a time lapse of me editing. Um, editing. So let's go ahead and just click on W and import it. And then obviously, like you would any normal video, um, you're going to want to go through and basically just skip through and wait until that's about where I want to start so I'm just using the right and left arrow keys to get it frame by frame use I'm using command B the blade tool to chop it off uh, let's go to the end and let's wait till now let's say use that as a stop point click on I'm going frame by frame command B using the blade tool chopping it off so let's go ahead and take a look at the normal video now this video is shot in a horizontal format so let's go ahead and double click on this so let's watch the video the video um, looks good, but you may ask yourself, well, hold on a second, that's not the format that I want. And that's what I'm talking about, the normal 16x9 format. This is the normal YouTube format. However, that doesn't work on a vertical, um, a vertical video project like Instagram Reels or IG Stories. Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to click on the video right here. Just click on it right here and head over to the Transform tool right here. Or you could also head over here to the effects panel and let's find um, trans transform, scale all, and we can just scale the video doing that. But let's just, we could also click on here the transform tool and you want to just zoom it in or scale it up until there's no more black bars. Zoom it in even more if you want. Again, it's up to you, but I'm just going to show you how to create a generic vertical video. Uh, as you can see right here, now what you also want to do is head over to the transform tool and then you want to put it into I think it's I think it's about um, what the original video looked like so you can see right here just using the transform tool to move the video around let's say for example that like you had like a couple of shots the first shot was in frame but this shot was was a, a little off centered just press on command B press on the blade tool let's take this one and let's move it over here so as you can watch it the position is going to change obviously that's not what I want for this video but see the position will change so you can just use a command B tool obviously this video is not a good example of that but in case you're using multiple clips that's how you do it um, so just in case um, that's the kind of example that you have but let's just say this is again just a very broad idea let's just take 
a color preset um, let's head over I can't remember exactly this is not perfectly edited um, I edited a couple more um, small things but there you go you can slap a preset on you could head over here to the color correction tools and you could color it a little bit again this is not perfect um, but as you can see right here there you go that's the format you want now let's go ahead and click over here to export now you want to export the video and again I think the limit is 30 seconds it's either 15 or 30 seconds most people's small little like IG reels probably will only be 10 seconds but I believe the limit is 30 seconds so there you go you created the dimensions you've created the project make sure it's 1080 by 1920 you've made sure you use the transform tool to zoom in or zoom out and make sure everything is in the correct um, positions a position you color grade it, add effects whatever you want dude but there you go now it's completely finished what you're gonna want to here head over here to export this export section go ahead click on export file as you can see right here h.264 this is the correct Kodak um, that you're gonna want to use h.264 here are all the different ones but you want to choose this one Make sure that's the correct codec, make sure the format is correct, make sure the video is all good, add whatever effects you want onto it, dimensions are right, frame rate is right, and everything um, looks good. Now what you want to do is you want to head over to next, save it wherever you want, rename it, but it doesn't really matter, you just want to make sure the video is correctly exported, and that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and play it right here. And you may ask yourself, well, the video is not stable a lot. It's wiggling a lot. Obviously, I put, I use a little bit of post-production, but like I said before, this is just a test. But there you go. There's a video right here. Let's exit out of Final Cut Pro 10. And let's open up Downloads. Here's the video right here. Um, so you want to drag it onto the desktop. There are a whole bunch of different ways you could get this to your phone. As far as I know, you can't upload this via desktop. So you need to get the video to your phone. AirDrop is not recommended. You could do a Google Drive. You could do a cable. Whatever you want. Uh, like a Bluetooth cable or whatever. I'm not quite sure what the technical name for that cable is. Um, but yeah. You basically want to make sure you get this to your phone. And here is the example right here. And what you're going to do is take the video. And basically, you're basically transferring it to your iPhone via iCloud Photos. But there you go, as you can see, all you gotta do is just drag it from your desktop to your Photos app um, on your iMac or MacBook. This only applies to Mac because Final Cut Pro is only native to Apple. Um, but as you can see, there you go. Now you wanna go ahead head over to Instagram. You wanna open up Reels and you wanna just upload the video, change the description, change the title, whatever you want. I don't believe there's a way to create a custom thumbnail. I think it's just gonna take the first um, frame, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and mess with that, but there you go. That's literally how you do it. You wanna make sure the project is correct. You wanna import the footage, use a transform tool to move it all around, export in H.264 and then share the video to your iCloud photos. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist. And if you enjoy those types of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next one. Peace.